Hey, and welcome to Smart Office, weekly tips and tricks to work around Microsoft Office applications. Today, I will show you something that has to do with Microsoft Word. How to create envelopes via Mail Merge in Microsoft Word. Mail Merge is a very helpful feature in Microsoft Word that allows us to create multiple documents such as letters and envelopes at once just by using a main document and a distribution list that we have created. This way we save a lot of time and effort of typing repeatedly the same letter. In previous videos of mine I described how to use Mail Merge with a ribbon and with the help of the step-by-step -step wizard. In this video I will describe how to use Mail Merge for envelopes. All that we will need is a mailing list. Just keep watching the video below. The whole procedure seems hard, difficult and long. But once you get the hang of it, it will seem nice and easy. Just remember these steps. Select the envelope. Customize your envelope layout. Begin the mail merge. Link our data source to the envelope. Insert an address block to the envelope. Preview and print the envelopes and save our mail merged envelope. I want to use mail merge to create envelopes so I can send them to my recipient list. How do we how can it be done? I'm just gonna select the mailings tab of the ribbon and fr from the area of the ribbons named start mail merge I select the command start mail merge. We can create one document and send it to multiple people. I just select the command and here from the drop down menu I select envelopes. The next thing we need to do is every envelope has a different size so we're going to have to find the size of our envelope. Envelope options. Different sizes. I'm just going to select one random one now and press the OK button. OK. Here is the envelope in my Word document. Here, I'm going to format the envelope a little bit. I'm going to insert an image inside as a logo of my company. Okay. I'll make it small, of course. Okay. I'm going to type my name. Philippos, Panay. Your TVs are out. I'm going to make it bold. The next step. Now we have created our uh, envelope. We've defined the dimension, the size of the envelope. We formatted the envelope a little bit. And now we have to combine this envelope with our data source list. So the next step is to, again from the start mail merge area, to select the recipients. Choose the list of people you like to send your document to. Type a new list. Use an existing list. Choose from our contacts. I have an, uh, a list already created, so I'm just going to select the command use an existing list. The select data source dialog box appears where I must navigate and locate and select the data source list that I have created. Address list MDB. An access file open. Now, next step is we can insert the fields inside our envelope. We move to the area where we want to insert the address block, insert a different field. We can insert an address block, a greeting line, or insert merge fields. These fields are the ones that we I have created from before. So in this case, I'm going to use an address block. Add an address to your letter. You specify the formatting and location, and Word, Word will replace it with actual addresses from your recipient list when you finish the mail merge. Address block. There are different sorts of formats of uh, address blocks. We can insert the recipient's name in this format. Over here we have the preview, Josh Randall, Joshua Jr. Randall, and etc. 
we can insert the company name, insert postal address, format address according to the destination country region. We don't need to do anything else. We are happy and satisfied with this. I just press the OK button and here is the address block. I select the address block and I'm going to format it as we usually do with everything else. Twelve. Okay. Again, the mailings tab. And now we have our envelope. We have formatted it and we have inserted a field in it. In this case, uh, an address block. We are ready to finish the mail merge to create the new envelopes. The address block was contained from six recipients, so I'm just going to select the command finish and merge. We choose how we want to complete the mail merge. I'm going to edit individual documents so it can be merged to a new document. The merge to new document dialog box appears. I'm going to merge all the records. OK. And now, first envelope. Filipos Panayotidis, second envelope. Duris Christine. Third, Paint and Jobs, Thanais Gerakis. Costas Dimu, Apostolos Kiparisos, Christos Pan. Six different recipients, six different envelopes. All we need to do now is to print it and send them. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw in this video, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, head down to the comment section and let me know.